Good morning, Lavish fam, and welcome back to another vlog. So today is Saturday, and I'm on grandparents' duty this weekend. So best friend came over yesterday, and he is, of course, still here. Um, and, of course, he has woken me up and asked for pancakes and bacon. So, of Not course... Bacon. You said pancakes and bacon. No, I didn't. I didn't say pancakes. I said bacon. So you don't want pancakes? No. Okay. So, um, of course, I'm cooking breakfast. And... So, um, yesterday, as I was in the office working and the entire family was here, I realized that I need to move the door situation up because I need some doors on that office. It is like there's nothing but it seems like the sound just bounces off the walls. Like, if they're in here talking, if someone's using a microwave or anything, it's so loud when I'm trying to edit vlogs. I have got to figure that situation out and quick. Um, bad thing is, I'm going on vacation in a week. But I think what I'm going to, and I have so many things that I need to do this week before leaving for that vacation. But I'm going to figure it out because... I need some soundproofing <laughs> or some doors like quickly so yeah that is going to be moved to the forefront um I don't really know what all I'm going to do today because it's hard to get a lot done when Kai's here because of course he's four so his attention span is a couple minutes um so let's see Right now, I'm just making some pancakes. So today, I'm making it from scratch because I had some buttermilk left over from another meal that we cooked, and I didn't want it to go to waste. So, um, and I don't use it for anything other than, like, pancakes or waffles. So that's what I'm doing now is making some pancakes. Since I had already started it, he did ask for pancakes. And one thing about Kai is I'll finish cooking, and he'd be like, where's he is so that's what I'm doing now and um I had something else I wanted to talk to y'all about but I can't remember so when I think of it when I think of it I'll pick the camera back up so give me just a bit while I you know rumble around in my brain to figure it out I figured it out so y'all remember how I was like on my last vacation on that cruise how I was like oh I've been seeing all these vlogs about packing um in carry-ons only and how i wanted to try the method okay so it worked for the cruise because we were gone from like a tuesday through sunday the problem is i wasn't able to really pack when you're doing a lot of walking i like i don't know and then another thing for me is i like for my shoes to match my clothes so i was like really limited in the in my shoe carry you know how many pair of shoes i could wear and or take and my shoes wasn't matching but i still wore them because that's what i had but anyway so i realized that that's not going to work out for thailand we're going to be gone for two weeks i mean like literally two weeks and some of those days give me just a second okay like and we have like basically two trips in one because we're going to LA first for like so many days and then Thailand I just was like this ain't gonna work and I'll tell you it was like I was waiting for you to say it because I was about to tell you the same thing it's not gonna work so it sounded like a great idea <laughs> In theory, the good thing is, like, we didn't plan to buy any, like, souvenirs or anything when we were on the cruise. Because we've already been to all of those locations, and we've done that. But in Thailand, I, I want to have options to bring stuff back. There was no options to bring anything back, even if we wanted to, when we went on this cruise. But in Thailand, because everything is so cheap and affordable, I want to have that option to bring stuff back. So... And then, you know what I'm saying, like, even if it's Christmas gifts or whatever, I want to have that option. 
but we didn't have that option. So I'm gonna be hacking a bit differently for Thailand. <laughs> There's no way that I'm gonna just be able to do just carry-ons. It just sounded good. It sounded good. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and cook breakfast and help best friend clean up the mess that he has made over there. And I'll check back in in just a bit. How's the pancakes? Good. Oh, okay. And just like I said, Kai ate all of his breakfast. He ate all of his pancakes and all of his bacon. And um, after he said he didn't want any pancakes. So as you can see, I'm in the office. I think I'm going to... Um, Ariel asked me to make a tumbler for um, a friend of hers. So I'm going to do that this morning. And I'll probably also go ahead and edit uh, my next travel vlog because... Most likely, um, I know for a fact I can go ahead and post that without waiting for any um, approvals. But I have another vlog before that I wanted to release on Sunday. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be approved before then. So I think I'm going to try to just make sure that my travel vlog is edited. So it can go up on Sunday. Um, I'm waiting on Dante to get home. So we can figure out our day. He went to the gym, of course. And uh, I will check back in with you guys um, once I figure out what we're going to be doing today. Happy Sunday, y'all. So I did not get a chance to come back yesterday because, as y'all know, best friend is here for the weekend. And it is extremely hard for me to get a lot done when he's here because he clings to me the entire day. You would think that he would want to hang out with G-Pop, but no. He wants to be right in my lap. He wants to be right where I'm at, where I am. So if I'm in the office, he in the office. If I'm in the bathroom, he want to be in the bathroom. It's like he is he is stuck to my hip. He's sitting over at the table looking at me. Because, of course, he, he's right here. He's, he's right here. So um, today I'm going to try to get some stuff done. I don't know what all I'm going to get done today because Ariel also had to work today. She doesn't get off to 3, 3, 3.30. So um, I'm going to try to be as productive as I can. And for now, I'm just going to get up. I'm going to make some biscuits um, for breakfast. And I don't know what else. Maybe some gravy. I'm not sure. But, no. ew, you don't like gravy? No. I know. I know, you just like your regular biscuits? Yeah, and I want jelly inside. You do not. Yes, I do! You didn't even eat the jelly. You only ate the biscuit. I only eat the biscuit. I only eat the jelly. Okay, we'll see. Alright, so once uh, I figure out what I'm going to do after we have breakfast, I will pick back up the camera and uh, let y'all know what's going on today. Hey guys, uh, so today is Thursday and um, I didn't vlog much at all this week. And so y'all know I had best friend for the weekend and he left on Sunday. Um, and Monday, I don't even remember Monday. I know that I uh, had to do some editing and doing some um, other vlogs or whatever and I know I end up having to pack for my little Dallas getaway but other than that I don't remember why I didn't probably talk to you guys a whole lot because that day is long long gone and today is now Thursday so I got back from Dallas last night I think our plane landed about 9 p.m. Um, and my plan was to vlog while I was in Dallas that's always the intentions. I did start the vlog in Dallas and then um, some things happened and the, the, the trip completely took a different path than it was originally t attended, intended to do. Um, and then it became no longer about vlogging but being thankful. Um, which I was thankful anyway. I'm always thankful for our new opportunities or 
you know, just being able to be in the, in the situation where I can experience new things and make new memories. So that's not the case, but it became a, a total different type of trip. And I think that that situation deserves its own vlog. And I do plan to do that probably later today um, and make a whole vlog about that situation because I feel like I said it deserves its own, you know, um, moment. Um, but uh, with that being said, um, I, I've always been a firm believer that God puts us in, in situations with certain people at certain times for a reason, you know, and, um, I felt like, cause the trip really didn't have a real purpose. Um, uh, my friend Sakina's nephew was graduating from AIT, which is the Air Force like training school, and that was the original reason for her trip. But then, like, um, the timing of it didn't work out to where she could actually attend. But she had already bought her tickets to go and asked me to just kind of tag along, and we would just do some things. So it really was not like a a whole meaningful purposeful trip it was literally just to kind of get away but at first I was like yeah and I was like you know what I'm gonna just go you know just go hang out but I believe that God put me there for a reason and with her and with that being said I'm so thankful for her I'm so thankful that I was there with her when when I needed her because everything that she said to me is what I needed to hear and like I said I know this probably ain't making much sense to y'all right now but I promise you it will when I do the separate vlog about the situation but I'm so thankful for having a friend like her in my life at this point of my life um and we just had a really good time just literally walking around in that freaking 100 and 110 degree heat and talking and, you know, chatting and just enjoying the moment and not, you know, me feeling like I needed to get content or, you know, and understanding, you know, what's going on in my life, you know, so... <clears throat> With that being said, I'm going to just let that part go because I know for me, when people just keep talking like in codes, I get a little frustrated, like, just tell me already. So I'm going to just let that go and I will later on make a whole nother vlog about it and it'll make sense. But anyway, um, of course, it's another gloomy day here in Georgia and it's it's been raining. My plan today was to because so I noticed that it is starting to become a little more crisp in the morning, like 70 to 70 degrees. So fall is coming. And I decided before we leave for our vacation, our Thailand trip on Saturday that I wanted to like um change out the decor on the porch. But of course, it's gloomy. It's gloomy. It's been raining. It's supposed to rain all day. So I think I'm just going to kind of wait it out. I started doing laundry so I can start packing because I haven't and I'm going to be gone for two weeks and I need to see what else I need to get and whether or not I need to make a trip to Walmart um, and get a few things. But for now, I'm going to wait it out just a little bit and see if the weather clears up a bit and if it does then we're going to go outside and kind of and i'll show you what i'm talking about because i also need to do some touch up touch up painting around our keypad because we did get a new um security system over a month ago so there's parts of the door that is like around there is white because the door was a white door when they put it in and 
Now the keypad is smaller, so you see it. So I need to touch, it, touch that up as well. But like I said, I'm just waiting to see how the weather is gonna hold up today. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook a little bit of breakfast and then I will, I, I'm pretty, I'm for sure will touch back with you guys once I see how the weather is doing. Okay, so it stopped raining. So I think I'm gonna be able to go out here and get some stuff done. Okay, hold on. It's the camera trying to focus. Okay, so um, let me just show you. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Our panel is smaller. So as you can see, it's the outline from the old panel. So I need to first touch that up, but it has pollen <laughs> all over the door. So I'm going to first wash down the door and then I'm gonna to try to clean all of this up as well. And then we had a storm, so the pillows got blown over and all of this stuff. So I'm gonna clean this down as well and change these pillows out. So that's the plan. So let me go and get the stuff and then I can get started.
still kind of drying from the paint um i have been on the fence about this <laughs> on the fence but amani thinks i should do it um she feels i should go ahead and put out the fall aka halloween decor that i used last year um so that way it's not just the last minute i'm putting it out like right at halloween um it is the next big holiday and it will allow me not to have to change it for a little bit. So I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, I don't have a lot of it because I'm not the biggest Halloween person. Um, and summer is my favorite season. But anyway, that's what I think I'm going to go ahead and do. And yeah, so we don't have... A power washer I want one I just not I just haven't I just haven't gotten one so um, I had to wash the door down manually because when I do it with just the hose and the spray thing I just feel like it does not get all of that pollen off so I end up just using like some soapy water and doing that so yeah I think that's what I want to go ahead and do is put out the de decorations yes Call me when there's no one there Put the key under the mat and you know I'll be over there 
I be over there, shout it, I be over there I be hitting all the spots that you ain't even know is there <laughs> And y'all don't even have to ask twice You can have my heart or we can share it like the last Okay guys, so I got this box from Costway. Costway is an online website that sells like all types of furniture. They have home decor. They have home like, I mean, they have outside decor. They have Christmas decorations. They have Halloween decorations. They have all things that you would need for your home. So they sent me these trees. Let me open the box up. <clears throat> so they sent me these two trees to go outside. Can y'all see me? Yeah. So I'm trying to open the box. And this stuff is pretty decent. Um, it's pretty good quality. I've had no issues with anything that I've ever got from them. Um, and their prices are really good. And they have quick shipping. Fast, free shipping. So this is the first one. Ooh. I like this. I love, I love it. So this is the, this is what they look like. And this was a set of two for about maybe 160, I think. But I'll, I'll definitely like link it. But this is what it looks like. And then that's the pot. You have to see. I really like the pots, so I'm not going to change them. I really love these, so I'm going to leave them just as they are. So let's go ahead and put these outside and finish up the little decor and decorating out there because baby, it's hot. So.
So when we come back from vacation, we're getting all of the front landscaping changed. So Dante's out there now getting a quote from the guy to be able to change all of this when we come back from Thailand. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about it because I literally hate it. I hate this whole situation. So I'm so happy that it's finally happening. And now that the weather's changing, <clears throat> now that the weather's changing, we can focus more on the yard and getting it the way that we want it um, because it just was too hot to have someone out here basically doing it and uh, whatever. But now we finally have someone who's going to come and change all of that. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm excited about it. And I know that he's going to do a good job because he's doing my neighbor's job. I mean, my neighbor's yard as well. And hers look amazing. So pretty excited about that. And then, of course, you know, guys, I'm going to share it with y'all. So, um... I'm going to take a lunch break because I think it's probably, ooh, 2.35, so I should eat something and then um, and clean up my mess. <laughs> Happy Friday, Lavish Fam. So <clears throat> as I was sitting here editing um, this vlog, I realized that I never put an ending on it. So, um, yeah, and I didn't just want to, like, cut it off without saying something well as i stated today is friday it's another rainy gloomy day here in georgia which sucks because i have so many things to do before we leave for vacation tomorrow so um i think what i'm going to do is just go ahead in this vlog and then what i think i'm going to do is start um another one for my travel channel because i feel like Anything dealing with the vacations should go on that channel. So I'm going to start one as the prelude to my travel vlogs on that channel once I end this one. So if you guys are interested in knowing what I'm doing today, then it will be over on the travel channel. But for now, I'm going to end this vlog and I will see you guys in my next one, which will be the one where I said earlier that um, I felt like my Dallas situation deserves its own, its own vlog. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to start that one. I'm going to go ahead and record that one today. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.